Welcome back to RD Works Learning Lab. In the last session um, I demonstrated how my laser was not performing very well. It seemed to be losing power as time went on and we were trying to track down where the problem was. Five days ago I wrote to the people in China about how they might be able to fix the problem that I'm experiencing. As yet I have had no response from them. Today I'm going to write to them again with some further information and a little bit of an ultimatum about um, where we go from here. So although I should be doing quite a lot of work today, what I plan to do is just very quickly take you through the principle of what I'm trying to achieve and then the results. But today's program is just a series of straight lines. There's 10 of them on there and they're about 22 millimeters apart. Um, I'm going to be cutting eight millimeter thick acrylic and what I want to do is to use fairly thick acrylic so that I can look through the edge of the acrylic material after I've cut it and do a mode burn so that I can see the depth of the mode burn itself and the shape of the mode burn through the edge of the 8mm acrylic. And here's how we've programmed this. We've set this up with 5mm a second and it's a cut program and we're running everything at 95% power including this through power which I still don't understand whether or not affects me or not but we've turned it on to 95% as well. So I'm now going to turn the laser on and start the test almost immediately so the laser will be really dead cold. The last time that this machine was run was about 12 hours ago. Now this is a piece of 8mm cast acrylic. In other words, the power is on for 150mm so that we've got an overrun at the end of each of these lines. And so we're going to do 10 lines on here, which is 1.5 metres. The cooling water temperature is still about 22 degrees. So take a look on the edge and see if we can see what the depth of cut is. Now the depth of cut on this one, the depth of this cut on this one looks as though it's nearly through. It hasn't gone right through, but I dare say that I should be very, it's very easy to break it off. The second one has not gone all the way through, but again, because of the amount that it has gone through, I should be able to break it off. This one, oh my goodness, just about. And this one, no. Should be ready to do the last cut in around about 26 seconds. I would say we stand a good chance of breaking most of these, but before we do that, let's mark them up. Number one, number four looks easy, and five looks easy. Six, seven, eight, just made ten. Although it hasn't cut these through completely, most of them it has cut a long way through. I'll try and put them into some sort of graphical form so that they make a bit more sense. But the question is, what is it that's cooling down enough to allow the, the laser to perform fairly good cuts? after a two minute rest. I'm suspecting it's the fully reflecting mirror in the end of the laser. <clears throat> so here we are back in the office to try and analyse the figures that we've got. Um, when, we when we ran this test for the first time uh, we saw that the cuts were getting worse and worse as time went on which was very much in agreement with the, um, the mode burns that we'd already done and proven and the fact that as time goes on it would appear that the power drops off quite considerably. 
But this is a bit of a puzzle because here we are, we've done cut one, it took approximately 30 seconds to do cut one and yeah we got some good results to start with, in other words we, the, the red results that I've got here are the full penetration cuts and you can see for cut one it started off at full depth and then it dropped off a little bit and finished up at seven millimeters so you know that wasn't bad that was a pretty good cut um, but then we gave it 30 seconds to recover and it went back to eight millimeters again and then we gave that cut 30 seconds to recover and that went back to eight millimeters again as you can see all the way along um, in fact as time went on it actually got better so what's going on um, I honestly don't know but what we can say is that this machine is a super machine provided you don't run it for more than 30 seconds um, you know to be able to cut eight millimeter thick acrylic was really beyond my expectations I was hopeful that I would easily be able to cut six millimeters and and looking at this graph if the machine performs properly it'll comfortably cut six millimeters all day long but it just needs to be doing it all day long we don't want the power of the laser to drop off now because I've been able to break all of these off what I'm now going to do is to give the laser another five minutes to cool down and then I'm going to do a mode burn on each one of these and what we should be able to do is through this clear element here we should be able to see the shape and depth of the mode burn. We'll set the machine going onto a continuous program. So I've got my steel bed here. I've dropped that right the way down so that the beam is out of focus, well out of focus. It'll still be 95% energy being sent out by the laser, but it, all it'll do is just heat up this surface generally. Right, here we go with number one. One, two, three, four, five, six seconds. This is number two at one minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is number three at two minutes coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is number four at three minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is number five at four minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. We now have number six at five minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're now coming up to six minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is number eight at seven minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is number nine, eight minutes. One, two, three, four, five, Six. And this is number 10 after nine minutes of running. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number 11 after 10 minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear. virtually non-existent. Number five, let's come back a little bit, but there's still virtually no power there. Number six, number seven,
number eight. Number nine. Number ten. And number eleven. Well, here we are at the end of a uh, ten minutes worth of um, proving. And it's again verified that uh, the machine will not rent for any period of time without dramatically losing nearly all of its power.